Hello guys, I am Edvinas, a .NET software engineer, and in this series we will be learning c -sharp by building a card game called Blackjack as a console application. This video is an intro, and I'll be explaining the structure of the series uh, that we will be learning and how I will be teaching you. If you want to code immediately, you can just skip to the second tutorial though I would highly suggest you to listen and then you will know what you expect. These tutorials will be created in a very practical and easy to follow way uh, with exercises following most of the videos. First we will be learning what is C sharp without going too deep. Then we will learn C sharp fundamentals such as different data types, expressions, control flows, arrays, files, date times, and working with strings. After that, we will follow up with intermediate course, which will contain information about object-oriented programming, clean code practices, and software architecture. If the series will be doing good by the end of it, I will create advanced course where we will try to create a multiplayer blackjack experience and maybe even move our console application code to a graphical environment to either VPF as a Windows application or web application uh, using .NET Core, depending on the demand, uh, where we will have card images, player slots, score, and more. I am sure that by following this series and putting enough time and effort, you will get a good grasp of this amazing language, and you will be able to create your own projects to fill your portfolio and surprise hiring managers with the amazing knowledge you'll have, as well as with awesome projects you will have had created by that time. So, what is C Sharp? C Sharp is a very flexible, modern, powerful, object oriented programming language created by Microsoft. With it, you can create desktop apps, web applications, web services, mobile apps, and even games for most platforms. It is a great language to start off for beginners uh, since it's easy to read, write, uh, since most of it feels like reading a natural text. Uh, it's strongly typed, which will help beginners understand when something they've wrote might have a logical problem. And also, if you come here with the mindset of becoming a software developer or an engineer, the language is very popular in a lot of countries. It is future prone and most likely it will stay like that in decades to come. I will be teaching you and sharing my knowledge by introducing you to new programming concepts uh, step by step, followed by homework exercises for you to take most out of these tutorials and really absorb the information. Answers to this homework will be provided in the end of each video and I will warn you before spoiling the solution. Do keep in mind that programming 99% of the time has multiple solutions to a problem, and by doing homework by yourself, you will make your brain recall this information a lot more clearly. Also, if you find the tutorials to be too fast or too slow, you can adjust the speed by changing YouTube settings. As of 2021, you can do that by pressing COG icon in the right side of the video menu bar and selecting playback speed to the one that fits you best. The project that we will be doing will require you to have an operating system, Windows, Mac or Linux, as long as the operating system you are using is capable of executing c -sharp code, it will be good. You will also need an IDE, uh, such as Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Notepad++, Sublime Text, Atom, or other. You can check out my tutorial where I explain all the mandatory parts about installing and preparing Visual Studio for your current and future projects. If you would like to get a tutorial for Visual Studio Code as well, or you want to get a list of recommended extensions for it, you can mention it in the comments and I'll provide them to you. 
And lastly, we will need curiosity, persistence, and interest to learn. With these traits, I am sure you will finish the course successfully, and as a result, will be able to create loads of amazing stuff with C Sharp. And with all that out of the way, we can begin coding. See you in the next tutorial.